Hello and welcome to the screencast. I am Radha Krishnan and I will be presenting on behalf of my team whose members are Akshaya, Janani and Anand. Our project is on design and implementation of an RSSI based accurate indoor localization scheme for wireless sensor networks. This is the outline of our presentation. First, we will introduce the problem of indoor localization. Then we will look at existing localization schemes. Then we will select the most suitable scheme for our requirements. This is an RSSI based scheme. Then we will look at the two phases in the scheme's implementation, which are distance estimation and position estimation. Then we will describe our implementation setup and simulation setup. We have implemented our scheme in Contiki and simulated in Kuja. Then we will go through the simulation flow and present our results. Finally, we will evaluate the performance of the implemented scheme and conclude the presentation. First, the problem. Why do we need to perform localization? There are quite a few reasons. In most applications, we need to report data that is geographically meaningful. A number of routing protocols require location information. And finally, it is unrealistic for most applications to rely on a careful placement or arrangement of the sensor nodes, which means the nodes need to perform localization. Then there are a few drivers for indoor localization, which is the localization of sensor nodes in an indoor network. Firstly, GPS signals which are widely used for outdoor localization are very weak and unreliable in indoor environments. Then there's the market opportunity like supermarkets, emergency response, surveillance, etc. Finally, with big players like Apple, Google, etc. entering the market with innovative applications, indoor localization has become an interesting problem to solve. Localization schemes. Localization schemes can be classified into range-based and range-free. We'll look at range-based schemes here. Within range-based schemes, two main classes are RSSI-based and time-of-arrival-based. As we can see here, RSSI-based schemes have very low complexity, no time synchronization requirement, and low power, but they also have very low accuracy. Time-of-arrival-based schemes have high accuracy, but pay in terms of high complexity, time synchronization, and high power. The scheme that we have implemented in this project is RSSI-based. We have traded off accuracy for low complexity and power savings. We have improved accuracy in the following way. Instantaneous RSSI samples could have random variations due to noise, interference, shadowing, etc. So we time average the samples to filter out the variations and then take the mode of the filtered samples to estimate distance, as this would most likely represent the line of sight path. This scheme is implemented in two phases, distance estimation and position estimation. Distance estimation. Given a set of fixed nodes called anchors, we need to find the distance between a target node, which needs to be localized, and these anchor nodes. This distance can be estimated from the RSSI using the log normal shadowing model shown below, where RSSI is given as a function of distance. Here, n is the path loss exponent, and c is an environment constant. For indoor environments, n can range from 0 to 5. Due to the exponential relationship, the accuracy of n is critical to distance estimation. Therefore, we need to calibrate the environment prior to installation. Next is position estimation. Given the location of anchor nodes x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, and the distances from the target to the anchors d1, d2, and d3, we need to estimate the location of the target x0, y0. We can use trilateration by constructing three circles centered at the three anchors and radii equal to d1, d2, and d3 and solve a system of three equations to get x0, y0. However, in the presence of errors in the distance estimates, we don't get a unique solution. Therefore, we have used a least squares estimation technique to minimize errors and get the best fit solution. This is our implementation setup. First, we perform calibration offline. It is divided into two parts. Part 1 is implemented in Contiki. Here we measure RSSI at the target from packets sent by anchors positioned at different distances from the target. Part 2 of calibration is implemented in MATLAB. Here we apply the mode plus filter technique 
on the RSSI samples and then curve it a straight line through the RSSI versus log D to estimate N and C. After calibration, we perform localization. This is again implemented in Quantiki. Here we measure the RSSI at the target and estimate the distance to the anchors. Using the location information from the anchors, we perform trilateration to locate the target. The localization scheme has been implemented in C on Quantiki OS. Our implementation is hardware independent as long as the hardware supports RSSI measurement. We have chosen null radio, null RDC, 800.15.4 framer, CSMA Mac and the RIME network stack for our implementation. We have built a single firmware to run on all nodes, anchors and targets, just like it would work in a real application. We have simulated our implementation in Kuja. Here we have chosen SkyMote as the target. Node placement and mobility support have been tested through the location file. Then we run simulations and analyze the results. For calibration, we use 8 anchor nodes and 1 target node. We place the anchor nodes at known distances from the target node. When the target node comes up, it sends a calibration request to the anchor nodes. Each anchor node sends 500 calibration response messages at an interval of 250 milliseconds to the target node. The target node records the RSSI samples from all anchor nodes. This experiment is repeated for distances from 2 meters to 550 meters. Mode plus filtering of these RSSI samples is done in MATLAB to get the best RSSI estimate for each distance. Then we do curve fitting and estimate N and C. Let's run through a calibration simulation. Here we have the target labeled 9 at location 00, 0 and 8 anchors at distances 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 meters from the target. When we start the simulation, the target initiates a calibration request to anchor 1. And anchor 1 responds with 10 calibration responses, then anchor 2 and so on. The target records the RSSI from each calibration response of each anchor node. Here we have plotted the mode plus filtered RSSI versus distance for distances from 5 meters to 25 meters. The green line is the least squares curve fit and it gives an N of 4.7375 and a C of minus 18.6714. For localization, we use three anchor nodes and one target node. When the target node comes up, it sends a location request broadcast. Each anchor node responds with its location information. The target node records RSSI and location of each anchor node. It then estimates its distance to each anchor using RSSI N and C. Then it performs trilateration to estimate its location. We provided mobility support by making the target node perform this localization procedure periodically with a configurable period. In our simulation, it is set to 5 seconds. Let's run through a localization simulation. Here we have the anchors labeled 1, 2, and 3 at location 0, 21, 0, 0, and 19, 0, and the target it is placed at 6, 7 initially. When we start the simulation, the target broadcasts a location request to which anchors 1, 2, and 3 respond with their location information. The target estimates the distance to each anchor based on the RSSI measured and then performs trilateration to estimate its location. After 5 seconds, the target starts moving and the localization is repeated. Here we have plotted the estimated and actual position of the target node. To evaluate the performance of the scheme, we have defined the localization error metric which is the Euclidean distance between the estimated and actual position of the target. 
For the experiments we performed, we found that the localization error has a mean of around 0.8 meters and a standard deviation of around 0.4 meters. This is good performance for an indoor environment. To conclude, we introduced the indoor localization problem, surveyed existing localization schemes, and selected the RSSI based mode plus filter scheme, considering the trade offs. We found that calibration of the environment is critical to accurately estimate N and C. We have implemented the scheme in Contiki and simulated in Kuja. Our simulation results show good localization error performance in indoor environments. That's it for now. Thank you.